Hello guys, Stan here from Dan's Tech, and in today's video guys, we're going to be having a look at a Thermalright CPU cooler. Now this is the True Spirit 120MBW, BW standing for black and white, and 120, uh, meaning that, you know, it does have 120 millimeter fan. Now this cooler is pretty small, about the, uh, about the same size as a uh, Hyper 212 Evo, however this does have uh, four 6 millimeter copper heat pipes, and to be honest, it is a relatively small cooler, I am somewhat, in, you know, somewhat interested to see how this performs. Now, this is... Uh, uh, it isn't priced, you know, very expensive. However, it's just a little bit more expensive than the Hyper 212 Evo, so be interesting to see what it performs like. Anyway, let's kind of jump into it. Yeah, we're going to see what we get in the box. I'm going to mount it on my 4790K, and uh, yeah, we'll check out some temps, and yeah, I'll draw a final conclusion if I recommend this cooler or not. So to get started with an unboxing inside the package, you get an accessory box with all the appropriate mounting hardware needed for all relevant AMD and Intel sockets, including some thermal paste. Now next up you get the cooler itself with a fan attached. Now the cooler itself is a single tower cooler with 46 aluminium fins and 4 6mm nickel plated pure copper heat pipes for the main dissipation of heat. Now moving on to the specifications of the fan, the fan is a standard sized 120mm fan with a 4 pin PWM connector and a max noise level of just 24 decibels at one meter away. Now the rated speeds are between 600 to 1300 RPM, so it should be pretty damn quiet even when at 100% fan load. Now the fan is PWM controlled as mentioned, so it should smoothly increase and decrease the fan speed according to the temperature of your CPU. Moving on to the installation, I was presently surprised at how few mounting tools there were and this did make it very easy indeed to install the cooler onto my Intel LG1150 based motherboard. Now to install the cooler all I needed was to install a mounting plate and also a anchoring plate to secure the cooler in place once it's been seated. And I will say once I secured these plates into place, um, the cooler was installed uh, you know, very securely and not somewhat secured like some coolers I have mounted in the past. Now onto the temperatures, the cooler did rather good in my 20 minute Pram95 test. Now I've recently changed the way I test coolers as I now have the i7-4790K instead of the 4770K, so I don't have as many coolers to show you on the graph for comparison. Now as for kind of running the test, I do run the blend preset stress test within Pram95 itself and write down the highest achieved temperature on any given single core. Now in this case, the Thermalright cooler uh, did score 74 degrees after normalising the result to a 20 degree room temperature level. Now overall yes, 74 degrees was pretty impressive given the actual small size of this cooler and how quiet it was during the test. Now the current price is more than fair as you are getting a really well built cooler that performs very well when you know you do take in consider the fact of the price and also the size. This cooler isn't very big. Anyhow, let's kind of get on uh, onto the outro and let me kind of conclude on what I think of this cooler as a whole. So guys, there it was. This is the Thermal Right True Spirit 120M BW. This is a pretty damn good cooler. The temperatures and the noise levels this delivers is pretty damn good. And if anything, it really does rival the Hyper 212 Evo. It really does. It's a very, very well designed and put together cooler. You can really tell that uh, you know time has been spent. Um, just like the 43 that I looked at um, about a week ago. Um, this also is is all black at the top so uh, it, it it is nice to see that cooler manufacturers now are looking at making you know very attractive coolers a lot of coolers now and nickel plated like this one for example and uh, yeah quite a lot of coolers now are kind of moving away from from being copper i mean orange orange coolers don't look too nice but copper is a good conductor but you know nickel plating it uh, you know, re really does make a cooler look very, very nice. And, you know, if you've got a nice looking cooler, which is also quiet and does deliver some really good temps, you've got a very nice product and, uh, yeah, very nice to have inside your PC. Anyway, guys, yes, definitely would recommend this. It's very quiet and does deliver some really nice temperatures. And for the price, yes, you are paying a few more quid than the Hyper 212 Evo. But to be honest, uh, I think this does, all, does look a lot more attractive. And to be honest, I prefer the mounted mechanism on this cooler. I haven't reviewed the Hyper 212 Evo on my channel, but I did have that cooler back when I had a gaming rig with an i5 in it. And also a, was it a GTX 760, I think? Um, but yeah, um, yes, the mounted mechanism on this is very nice. And, uh, you know, 
As I mentioned with the Fortis 3, because that was also a brilliant cooler in terms of mounting, um, it is good to see that manufacturers uh, that are making CPU coolers are making the installation incredibly easy. Compu you know, um, gaming on computer now, computer now, gaming on computers now is becoming ever so popular, and I think that people that are building their own rigs, it is very nice to see that coolers are easy to install. Because to be honest, some of them are a right pain, and they shouldn't be. So, you know. Good job, Silentium PC, and good job, Thermal Right. There we are. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. We definitely recommend this product. You'll see all the links in the description to purchase and also a link to uh, Thermal Right's website. And uh, yeah, without further ado, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.